In this problem, we have two parabolas. One, we just have the equation for the function that creates the parabola, negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 33. And for the other one, the other function, we have a table of values. And we're supposed to answer some questions, uh, compare these two things. Um, well, let's, let's see what we've got here. The first question is, what is the vertex of function 1? And you can find the vertex of any parabola by using this handy little uh, formula here. The x coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. And remember, a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of the uh, x term, and c is our constant term. So if we wanted negative b, that'd be negative 16 over 2a. Well, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. What we would get is a positive 4. That's the x-coordinate. How do we find the y-coordinate? Well, we just plug that value in here. So we'd get negative 2 times 4 squared plus 16 times 4 minus 33. So let's see what we've got here. 4 squared is 16 times a negative 2 plus 16 times 4. That's chunk is going to come out to 32 minus 33. So that's a negative 1. Might want to check my math on that. So I think our, our coordinate here is 4, negative 1. So that would be our answer for this one, 4, comma, negative 1. Let's look for the vertex and function 2. Here, it might be a little trickier um, to see. It might help to sketch. We don't have to be accurate about this, but we can just sketch a graph. So 2, negative 1 is on this graph. Um, 0, 5 is on this graph. Negative 2, 7 is on this graph. Uh, negative 4, 5. Oh, hmm. So going down again. And negative 6, negative 1. And negative 8, negative 11. So something like that. So you can see we've got this basic shape like this. And it looks like our vertex then is here at negative 2, 7. Another clue about that is that usually when you list a table of values of, of coordinates for a, a parabola, you're going to have pairs where the y coordinate is the same. So you'll notice you have a negative 1, negative 1. You have a 5, 5. Um, this negative 8, a negative 11 is by itself, but this negative 2, 7 is between these other ones, and it's the only one for 7. That's a clue that might have been your, your vertex. But sketching out the graph told us for sure that this was the vertex. So our vertex here is negative 2, 7. So the next question is, which function has the larger maximum value? And it's useful to know whether your parabola is open upward or downward. In this case, uh, we can tell this one opens downward because we sketched it. So our maximum value is going to be right here at the vertex. This parabola function 1 also opens downward. We know that because it's got a negative coefficient of the x squared term. If a is negative, it's going to be a downward opening parabola. Now the value of the function at the vertex is going to be the maximum value. The value of that function is the y coordinate. So the maximum value of function 2 is 7. The maximum value of function 1 is negative 1. That's as high as it gets on the y. So the, the function that's got the larger maximum value is going to be function 2 because 7 is bigger than negative 1. And that larger maximum value is 7. So that's a little bit of work uh, in comparing some quadratic functions, one where you've got an equation and another where you've got a table of values.